Yes, look, it's exactly how I wanted it to be. Oh, no! Okay. Well, that is not how I wanted it to be, but holy shit, we have a lot of guns. We have a lot of guns on this. This video is sponsored by G2A, so check out the link in the description for some cheap and awesome games. Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of The Last Leviathan. So today, I wanted to build something a little bit special. So what I decided to build in today's episode is the strongest boat I possibly can. So it's gonna look ridiculous, but it's gonna have so many cannons on this. Like, if you're, if you're an enemy boat, just like stay away from me. <laughs> Seriously. What I'm gonna do... We're gonna go for something. Uh, hold on. We gotta, we gotta start with like really good. Wait. Oh yes, it sells. Oh, look at the health. Okay, so why was I not using this to begin with? I mean, I play in creative. I play this game in creative, so like I might just as well. So the way I want this boat to work is it's gonna be kind of shaped like a pyramid, and you guys will probably see why in just a minute. So all I gotta do is build up like a nice little platform. How do I rotate things again? There you go. I, I finally have like things figured out. I know how to play this game Why do you guys say I like never know how to play my games? I kind of like pretend actually It's not me playing this game some of you probably have called it and uh, I'm just gonna admit to it This is all staged. This is all part of my social experiment Sam pepper is gonna come in and just like jump out of your closet and be like surprise. It's just a prank, bro Okay. All jokes aside, I do like record and play my own games. Please guys, please. How dare you like not believe in me, okay? A few of you guys have pointed out that sometimes I build my ship backwards, which I kind of see now. <laughs> because like this thing, it's like where the, the little steering wheel is. It's meant to be like facing the back and like this is the front right here, but I sometimes do it the other way around, which is kind of embarrassing if you ask me. But like for the most part, like it doesn't really matter that much because I, I still maneuver the boat like how I want to it in maneuvers like how I want it to maneuver so it's still kind of fine so what I'm doing right now is kind of building up different layers because these layers are just gonna be filled up with guns as many guns as I can possibly fit on this boat and hopefully it's gonna like float we've got three technically two layers of guns because I'm not gonna put any guns up here or maybe I will who knows you know you just have to wait till the end of the video because as your boy Ethan would say there's surprises throughout the entire video like you don't want to miss out okay so it's kind of gonna look a little bit like a submarine just a tiny little bit it's gonna resemble one so now all I gotta do down here is just build up as much as I possibly can so we're gonna do like another little pyramid because we need a lot of wood to make this thing basically float because otherwise it's gonna just like sink straight to the bottom with all the the guns that we're gonna have on this so hopefully that's not going to happen hopefully I can make it work but if not we're gonna be sitting here for a while fixing our mistakes rethinking what I'm doing with my life okay so I think this is gonna be the hole so essentially where I want the water to be is just be on this level you can kind of get to this level because this is where my guns are gonna go those two layers but let's have a quick test to see if this is actually gonna set sail there you go and if I set sail please okay it stays on. Oh, that's the thing that I'm worried about. It's gonna flip like that onto the side, but you know what? I might know a fix for that. So I'm gonna dock it and I'm gonna replace some of these with like heavier weights. So essentially it's gonna drag it down a little bit, but maybe we won't even have to do that once I start adding all the guns and everything onto this boat. It kind of works. It kind of works right now. That's interesting. So I added a few weights down there. Let's let's just keep it like that. We're gonna add like the guns now and everything, and then we can obviously worry about like how this thing is actually gonna behave. <gasps> yes, look, it's exactly how I wanted it to be. Oh no! Okay. Well, that is not how I wanted it to be, but holy shit, we have a lot of guns. We have a lot of guns on this. A little bit of fixing that I gotta do before this ship is actually gonna set sail, but we can do this. We can totally do this. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys here. I think this is possibly the ugliest boat I have built so far in this game. Like, the whole purpose of this boat is to look just ridiculous and stupid with all those weapons, and I think I've accomplished that. I think I've really accomplished making this thing look so Dumb. Look at this. 
this? I don't know if I should even like class it a boat at this point. Like seriously. Oh no, I've created a monster. There's like no nice way of putting it. If I can somehow maybe squeeze in some detail onto this, this is gonna be like the worst looking boat I have ever built. Cause usually I try to go for things that are like aesthetically pleasing, but this is just the opposite. This is just kind of like, this is gonna work, okay? This is gonna have as many guns as I can possibly put in it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But if it does work, it does work. How does this look so far? I, I mean, why am I even asking myself that question? It looks ridiculous. It oh my God. It's big, like, and it has like a little ram over here as well. So let's add a few like weapons or something. We can, oh no, I cannot add the spike. That's a bit sh shame, right? I nearly said shit, but I didn't. So I kind of like tried to hold myself back, but now I said it, so it's out there. So yep, yeah, it kind of looks a little bit shitty, if you ask me. So we need a bunch of like these, obviously, propellers back here, which are gonna power this amazing boat. We need as many of them as we possibly can fit. And I think we actually would need like uh, one of these, if I can just like place it in there. Come on. Why is it not? Oh, interesting. Now it work. Good. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell have I created? I don't even know what this thing is actually gonna sell. Please don't sink. Please don't sink. Oh! Oh! Okay, it hasn't sunk yet, so we're off to a good start. Oh my god, this thing is slow. This thing is actually so slow, but wait, it balances itself out a little bit. No! Can I shoot? Oh my word! Look at- Oh wow. It's gonna flip. It's gonna flip. It's gonna flip. Come on, we gotta push it. We gotta push it from the other side to make this- Oh, this thing is gonna flip to one side, won't it? No, yep, yep, it's happening. It's definitely happening. Okay, we gotta dock this thing, and I gotta make some changes. So first of all, I gotta make this thing a little bit more front heavy, so that way, like, when we start, like, using all these, like, propellers to propel me forward, they're not gonna, like, lift the nose too high up, and also, we just need a lot more wood down here. We just need so much wood to make this thing actually float on the water, because, as you can see, it's not doing a great job right now which is just not the best so I'm gonna try and add a little bit more here and hopefully that's gonna kind of like prevent it from like uh, swinging side to side and just like it's gonna stay in one place and it's gonna be magical I added quite a bit of weight as well so oh it's a little bit better I think we need to lift the back actually this is not looking too bad but I feel like it's still gonna tip over yep it's tipping over okay so I'm hoping these like side rails are going to help a lot with this boat not tipping over so let's have a quick look once again because they usually tend to solve the issue mix it okay look at this it's kind of stable we're looking good so far so how about we set sail and see if this thing is actually gonna tip over it does it turn oh my god the turning is just so slow you know what we need we need a lot more propellers to propel this boat forward because this is this is going too slow i i cannot wait like for this thing to go faster you know i think our boat is finally ready i can call this ready look at this it it's it stays on water which is fantastic it goes fairly fast i wish the nose went a little bit lower than this, but you know what? We can't have everything. Look at all these guns. So, we need to find a target. We need to find a good target. Oh, God. This thing, like, uh... I don't think it turns very well. I think I might have done something that prevents it from turning. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, God. This boat has a lot of power now. So, it's a bit tricky to control, and I can't shoot forward, which, uh, you know what? I kind of forgot. I can't, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I kind of forgot about shooting forward. So, let's, let's go to the island and see if we can blow anything up. And chances are, like, the mortars are just gonna fuck me up, you know? The mortars always mess me up so hard. So, we're gonna slow down over here. Three knots. Three knots is enough. Okay, so now we just gotta target this. I hope, like, all of them are gonna fire all at once. Okay, so we're gonna have, like, a few practice shots just to see where those are gonna land. Oh, shit. I think that could have been actually spot on. So let's settle down and now unleash fire! Holy shit! <laughs> I've never seen so many cannonballs all at once firing at these islands. Oh, where are the explosions? Why, I'm, why am I not seeing the explosions? I wanted to blow up the hat completely. Okay, the hat is gone. The hat is completely gone. Holy crap. This is, I think, the most powerful boat I have ever created. It just has so many weapons. Oh, it's a little bit unstable at the moment. And I'm kind of wondering why. I mean, I've got these, like, side rails to keep it steady. But they're not doing a very good job at the moment. It could be the waves. It could be the wind. I just don't know. I don't even know if there is, like, 
wind in this game. Obviously, there's waves because I can see them. But an actual wind? Hmm, interesting. That'll be very interesting to see. So how about we get a little bit closer to that wall and look, there's that fucking bastard in the sea with, like, his crab claw who's gonna try and grab onto me. Not today. Even though he's probably gonna do it. He's gonna, like, just completely disregard. Oh, shit. Okay, there's, like, mortars and everything over here. Those bastards are trying to fire, but guess what? I already messed you up. How does it feel? I hope it feels amazing, all right? So how about we stop right here? We steady our position. And are you ready? First of all, cheek test shot. What the fuck was that? Oh, for cannibals! Okay, we gotta move. Open fire. Everything open fire. We just gotta unleash. We got at least shut the tower. Yes, we got the tower. Fantastic. Now we just gotta blow up the castle. Come on. If we can blow up the castle, that would be absolutely amazing. Come on. Just... Yes, okay. The castle is falling down. Fantastic. Look at that. And the castle is gone in seconds. And the other tower gone as well. Can you believe that? This is amazing. How about we go and, like, blow up Jimmy's house? Jimmy, I'm coming for you. Your house is gonna go down. Wow, I've actually never seen that gone completely. Steady. Okay, now slow down. Slow down. Fantastic. And how about we get a little bit closer to Jimmy's house? Just so we can announce ourselves. Be like, yo, Jimmy, we're just outside your house. Come outside. We're waiting for you. And then he's gonna step outside with his, like, pants down. And we're just gonna, like, shoot him with a million cannonballs. Because that's how many cannonballs, like, we have on board of the ship. So let's take control. And let's go. Let's go. Let's, like, just fire a warning shot at Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. Look, I just took a... Check out your roof. Are you ready? Are you ready for the rest? Because there's a lot more where that came from. Destroy Jimmy's house. Holy crap. This is kind of insane. Uh, Jimmy, where's your house? Jimmy, where's your house? Jimmy's house is like completely gone. This is fantastic. I'm actually quite happy with myself with like the boat designs that I'm coming up with simply because they work most of the time. So maybe it just shows that this game is actually really good and worth picking up if you guys were like considering it. So anyway, guys, I think that is gonna be it for another Another episode of the last Leviathan if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and as always thank you so much for watching hope you're gonna have a wonderful day and now see you guys next time take care to bye 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 bye, -bye.